Though this business, we all know, is all about, you know, searching out stuff, finding it, effectively being a treasure hunter. So I'm here with Richard. Richard is an art treasure hunter with a great eye. And some people say, oh, there's no such thing about having a good eye. Well, I disagree. It's an instinct and eye. He's got it. He buys really interesting art. And can you help us, Richard, do some deeper research on this artist? So, Tell us about it, Richard. The, the only surviving provenance and detail is there. And the initials are JV. It's from the sort of, I would say, northern Spain, south of France. But JV basically was somehow associated with Salvador Dali, in as much as I'd had four portraits of Dali by this artist JV. So remember, Spain, Spanish, maybe French. But essentially, he drew four portraits of Dali. I sold them one by one. Um, scattered to the four winds. Um, he drew Calaques, which is where Dali was born in the Costa Brava in Spain. And I own about 30 or so of these multicolored, beautiful, beautiful sketches in, in charcoal. Um, some of them are sanguine charcoal or color. Some of them are pen and ink and watercolor. But I've never ever to this day found out who JV is. And we need so, to, desperately. Yeah, because you, can, you can sense and feel the sun burning through yeah. it, can't you? Yeah. Painted on the continent under that Mediterranean sun. Absolutely. But we need to know who JV is. <laughs> because if we can put a name to JV, then, yeah. all, I mean, you've put a lot of research into this already, yeah, but somebody absolutely. out there might, might, might have yeah. known this person. Well, pieces like this, framed, I frame it almost for nothing. So a piece like this is about 150. But essentially, if we could ever find out who he is, yes. then I've got 40 to sell and they become something else. But yeah. um, so far, it's just a mystery. So. Well, that, that's the very interesting thing about art and really yeah. exciting as well in this business. Again, being yeah. a treasure hunter. 150 quid for an original frame is just so cheap, it's unbelievable. 75-ish years old. Yeah. And um, some of them were wartime as well. And, uh, David, I love that things like this were being drawn in the war, yeah. in the war years. It's amazing. Great. But don't we know that painting is escapism? I'm a painter, yeah. I sell my work. Yes. And yeah. when I paint, I go somewhere else. It's yeah, the only yeah, time my brain switches off yeah, or I'm yeah. asleep. Yeah. Right? So yeah. when I paint, I meditate. Yes. And so it's, it's, a, it's a health giving thing. And you yeah, believe that, absolutely. don't you? Yeah, at Christmas time, my son and I have the Casso offs. And the television goes off, brandy or rum or whatever it is comes out, and we just draw Picassos against each other to see who can draw the best Picasso. Brilliant. And afterwards, you might have a, a lot you'd rip up or whatever, but there's always three or four Picassos in there that actually look quite good. <laughs> I've never pretended they're real, but there's a lot of fun doing them. It's Christmas time, it's yeah. television off, yeah. four hours and you forget yourself. You don't you remember do, where you, you are, do, it's a you, lot of fun. You drift yeah. off and, and yeah. you forget mortgages and problems and <laughs> work-related yeah. stuff yeah. and things yeah. you forgot to do Absolutely. it is meditation Absolutely. but help us yeah. out if you know this artist and richard's got how many of these have you got about 40 40 yeah currently yeah. there are 150 quid a, a pop which <laughs> is absolutely for nothing but if richard can discover who the artist is you might 10 times the value and he'll cut you in on a commission <laughs> so come on share the video let's find out who jv is painting in oh, the fantastic. 1950s brilliant fantastic. thank you richard no, bless you.